Farm Basics topic today is not a flavor. We aren't talking about lime like lemon lime or something like that. We're talking about lime that can actually help fix problems and improve productivity in a field. Oh. Well, then I got to go back and uh, get ready again because I thought we were talking about the lemon lime thing. Yeah, Brian was getting hungry. He thought, oh man, it's a fruit. What the heck? No, we're talking about lime. And what lime actually is, is it's calcium carbonate. And with calcium carbonate, you can apply that to soils that are low in pH and bring the pH of the soil up. Now, maybe say I'm not a chemist and why is this very important but it actually is really important when it comes to crop production. Well soil pH is the number one thing in our opinion that limits crop yields all over the United States and around the world. So farmers are always trying to get their soil pH about right and the ideal soil pH for many crops is around 7 which is about neutral. Unfortunately a lot of the soils in the United States are very low in pH. With lime you can fairly easily raise that pH. It just costs some money to get that lime spread. There are lime sources around the country where farmers pay good money to get the lime and get it out and get it spread on their farm. But there's one thing that we're doing on our farm where we're getting the lime actually for free from a water treatment plant. We do get some lime from a water treatment plant. And when you think about water, a lot of times with hard water, you have a lot of calcium that you have to get out of that water. And you actually will get some calcium and carbonates out of the water as well, and you end up with calcium carbonate, which is lime. Now, the only trouble with taking that water treatment plant lime for farmers is sometimes you also pull some heavy metals out of the water as well, and you really don't want that. So you have to test that lime to make sure that it has the proper analysis to be useful for you on the farm. Just to give you an idea of what we're spending on our farm to do this, we're putting out about six tons of lime per acre. We'll probably only spread that lime on our fields once every, let's say, four years, and it's costing us around $30 to $40 an acre to get that done. So just simple math, let's say we were doing it once every four years and it costs $40 an acre. In other words, we're spending about $10 per acre per year to help keep our soil pH up near that 6.5 to 7 pH, which is ideal for crops in our area. Now one thing about that, when you get that soil pH right to a neutral level, it's not too acidic like the low pHs are. And when you have low pH, it does inhibit crop production. And one of the things that it does is it also inhibits the soil life. So the little bacteria and earthworms and all those things that live in our soil, they don't like really strong acidic soils. They want a more neutral pH and they can do their job more efficiently and they can help make nutrients more available as well. Well, let's get specific into how exactly this lime works. What lime is, it is calcium carbonate, CaCO3. When that combines with free hydrogen in the soil and you end up getting three things water or h2o carbon dioxide and then the other thing you end up with is calcium that's in the soil which is important for plant growth so that's really what happens that chemical reaction that occurs in the soil it's a good thing all the way around so you have less free hydrogen you raise the ph you have better crop growth it is a good thing you just have to be careful of which kind of lime you buy so you don't get those heavy metals or anything like darren talked about earlier well when we talked about our farm basics topic today lime it wasn't the fruit like brian was thinking right off the bat it was actually calcium carbonate that can be used to increase the soil ph to improve crop production well another thing that's important if you want to improve crop production is stopping our weed of the week can you identify this week's weed 